Hi there, I'm Dan over at Loxo with a quick look at the process of importing CSV lists of people or companies into Loxo. It's actually very easy, so let's take a look. So when you're logged into your Loxo account, to import a group of people into the People tab or a group of companies into the Companies tab, it looks and works exactly the same way. At the upper right, you're going to use the blue Add button and simply choose Import CSV. And you will select the CSV file off your computer. And I've got a demo CSV file that we can use for this purpose. So I've selected that file off my desktop. And now you're going to see this display here. Now, in our example, we've got three sort of... Uh, layers of information, the person's first name that we're importing, the person's last name, and their email address. And we have several different people here that we'd be importing. Now, if you want to import all the information, simply use the import button to the left here and select the rows. If you click the import word on the import word here it's going to select all the information that's in the csv and import it en masse but you can be selective if you just wanted to you know import maybe um, the first name and the email address you could eliminate the last name and the import kind of thing right so you can be selective here now over on the right you can select the destination i.e map the data so here we've got the various first names for the people we're importing. Over here to the right where it says select, we're going to choose first name field. So what that's going to do is make sure that this data flows into the first name field over here in Loxo. All right, now these are all the folks' last names, as you can see. So to the right, we'll select last name. So that we'll be sure that data flows into the correct field in Loxo. And then here is the email address. So under select, We'll scroll down here to where the emails are displayed. Now, you can choose which email field you would like these emails to go into. Now, these look like the folks' uh, work emails, actually. So we will put them in emails work. Okay, and that will slot these email addresses into the appropriate email field over here in Loxo. And you would repeat the process. You know, if you have various bits of information in your CSV, you'd be able to, over here on the right side, map that data into the correct destination over on Loxo's side. Okay, now at the lower left, you can import these folks, as you can see, as candidates into your database of people, or contacts, or subcontractors. And you can also add them directly into a job. So if you would like to drop them into a job, source these folks for a job, you'll simply use the select a job drop down and choose the job that you would like to drop these people into. Similarly, you can drop them into a list in your Loxo database. Remember, lists are in the People tab, and you can create as many lists of people as you wish. So if you want to drop these people into a list, use the Select at List button, point to the particular list you want to drop them into, and you're good to go. At that point, you'll use the button at the lower left to submit, and that should begin the import. Now, one best practice we do recommend when you're importing people or companies is to try and keep that list to a thousand or less. So if you have 10,000 people that you want to import into your database, that's not a problem, but you're going to want to break that into 10 distinct imports uh, to avoid you know, sluggishness and error messages, right? But if you do have a gigantic file of people or companies that you would like to import and you need some assistance, don't be shy reaching out to us down here at the lower right-hand corner when you're logged in. You can start chatting with us. So, you know, if you have a big, big import that you're going to be working with, don't be shy reaching out to us in terms of best practices or if you need some assistance uh, on the back end, so to speak. All right. Thanks for watching.